El Cajon's controversial councilman Ben Colasso is out, and the city's mayor couldn't be more relieved. 10 News reporter Rena Nicano sat down with Mayor Bill Wells today, and it was a sudden resignation that seemed to catch a few people off guard. Rena? Yeah, he was definitely not expecting a resignation via email, but he did kind of see his uh, career on the decline. You know, when Colossal got into office in 2016, he had the backing of both the Democratic Party and also the Chaldean community. But once he got into office, things started kind of crumbling. He switched parties. He also started pitching what the mayor calls dangerous policies. And also he got caught up in all of that legal mess and then he saw those supporters dwindling. I think it's the best thing for the city, absolutely. Mayor Bill Wells of El Cajon saying goodbye to what he called a difficult time for the council, the years he served with Councilman Ben Colasho. He's been rude, he's been condescending, he's been aggressive. No more. After missing Tuesday night's city council meeting, Colasho emailed the city manager his letter of resignation effective immediately, citing differences in opinion and need to take care of family matters. Colasho had his fair share of scandals since taking a seat in 2016. He's been accused of sexual harassment for creating a fake nude Instagram account for a beauty queen and for tarnishing reputations of people and businesses by spreading false rumors online. In the letter, he says all litigations have been settled. I think it's uh, dangerous. I think it's damaging. It, it, it hurts the credibility of the, of the council. Mayor Wells says in the last two years, they focused too much of their time on Colossio's damage control rather than policy making. We had talked about the, the idea of uh, recalling him, and we had looked at that pretty seriously, but the expense it just didn't, it was hard to justify it. $800,000 for a recall election wasn't in the budget, so they decided Colosho could just ride out the remaining two years at his seat. Instead, he got the surprise breakup letter. In the next two weeks, the city must decide if they want a costly special election or an appointment to fill the now vacant seat. From now on, Wells hopes for a less dramatic era. I'm glad that part's over. I, I hope that we can stay completely out of the news for a long time after this. And at this point, it is unclear if his resignation has anything to do with legal sediments. We tried talking to Mr. Colasho at his home today. Unfortunately, no one answered his door. Reporting live tonight in El Cajon, I'm Rena Nakano, 10 News.